there, it's Major Vaughn Majors, actually the Major, and today I'm going to ask you a question that you probably never asked. Have you ever wanted to play games that you could, that you thought you could only play on your desktop, on your phone, iOS, and maybe even Android, I don't know. Well, today we're going to do just that. Now first you need to get an app called Kinomi, um... I think it's just called Kino Kinoni. And you need Kinoni Kino Console, this is what you need. Download that. And you also need to download Kino Kinoni Streamer, which you can find at Kinoni.com Kino Console Download Windows Drivers. Download that, and the download is fairly quick. Like my internet is crap, and first of all, you saw that download in a matter of seconds. But you just you just say yes to all that, and it's already installed on my phone here. And for Kinoni Streamer, there's only a few things that you'll need to do. First, you'll need to make sure. You'll need to go to Quick Launch and enable all the games you want. So, what you might have to do first is scan installed games. So, this will go through all your games and check for any possible games. So, you just double click on where it says false and then you can check it if you really want that. Um, so, we're going to be testing it with only a few games. And you can actually go in and manually add in some games. So let's say uh, the game I'm looking for isn't showing up. We can go browse, and I've currently got Deltarune up here. And it should actually be Survey Program R S. Yep, right here. So let's say you really wanted to edit videos for whatever reason. Well, Sony. Oh, it's magics. Well, you can go in and do. You can select that, and now you can edit videos on your phone. And what this actually does is it is it connects via a remote desktop connection so to speak and yeah you'd have to pay for no ads and when you pay f when you go free you can get the best you can get is good video quality video resolution of 888 by 496 and 30 fps I'm going to go 664 by 368 just because my internet's kinda crap but let Let's see if this. Let's go ahead and select. So, what we're going to have to do is slide over from the right and tap on the settings button, and this puts us into edit mode. So, tap and hold where you want your first button, and then I'll put A here, B here, and you can move this around wherever you want, and X here. Now for Undertale we really only need these three, but let's say you're playing a game that requires more buttons, then you can add more. And it also does support um, left sticks and right sticks. So basically it's emulating an Xbox controller. So get out of edit mode so we can use this and I bet you I can take on Jevil right now. I'll be probably not the best, but I bet you I can do it now. So I think it's worth, but you can you could genuinely like Maybe not the best playthrough, but you can genuinely get through a playthrough. Game. Like, you know what? 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over onto that couch over there and just sit back and play Delta Room. You know what? Surprisingly good progress, though. Especially because I was. I like you're going to hear a lot. A lot of input lag. I was still able to get to the carousel, and I mean, sure, I did better on stream, but I was able to get to the carousel. And I might add fairly terrible conditions. My phone just died in battery. Well, if that's as good as of a spot to end off this video anyway. <laughs> but, there normally will be sound, I just... Just, the main issue I had was... The bunny keeps trying to escape. And it's not even connected to... Why does it try to use the Xbox stream audio render? I don't even know what that is. Log in, okay. But, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you subscribe, and hit that little bell. So that way your webcam stops recording for no reason and become part of the Oceani. See you guys.